Hello everyone, this is the Mayor of Gaming, and today we are doing something a bit different. I plan on starting a new series uh, where we play games from the MS-DOS library on Internet Archive, and it is quite a task, to say the least. Um, there are currently 2,589 games, and that isn't even close to all of them. So, um, yeah, we're going to play through them, but not, uh, you know, going through it top to bottom would be a little, uh, boring, I think. Um, so, instead, I made a little list. My little, I mean, 53 pages long. And this took me a lot longer than I care to admit. Uh, but, um, they're all there. All of the, uh, well, wait. Ah, shit, maybe I did forget a few. I'll fix that next time, because odds are, uh, yeah, you, you'll see what we're doing. You probably already guessed, but we're going to roll a random number between 1 and 2,592. So, for this first episode, let's get started. 2,592, minimum 1. So, what game are we playing today? 461, which is... Scroll, scroll, scroll... 451. We have CJ's Elephant Antics. No clue what that is, but I will be right back when I find it. CJ's Elephant Antics, published by Codemaster Software Company Limited. Uh, the Codemasters actually is pretty cool. Um, if I remember right, they have a decent amount of games that are actually pretty good. Uh, this game was released in 1993, developed by Genesis Software. Um, it is an action game, third-person perspective platform, so this might be interesting. Uh, CJ, the, uh, the baby elephant, has fled captivity and is, in desperate, uh, and is desperate to reach his home in Africa. That means trekking halfway around the world armed with only an infinite supply of peanuts and a handful of bombs. I, I, I think CJ is going to be fine. I mean, infinite supply of peanuts, he's got all the food he needs, and a handful of bombs, I mean. You start with nine lives, but the game's design is such that a lot of deaths will be unexpected. So prior knowledge of the layouts is essential to get through most of the sections of the five levels without losing lives. The two-player mode involves the screen following the lead player, so the latter can lose lives by getting too far behind. With lots of precise jumps across vertically progressing ledges involved, a lot of skill and timing is required. So, this actually seems like it might be kind of cool. Uh, Codemasters uh, platformer game. Um, I'll get it running and uh, I'll be right back. First thing we see is, are you using a joystick? Well, I only have a mouse and a keyboard here, although I might be getting a joystick soon. However, currently, no. Okay, he looks pretty fucking adorable. Hmm. Ooh, that moves came bad, actually. That's uh, not something I think of when I think of a uh, baby elephant. Ah, here we are. Somewhere over France, CJ the elephant, stolen from his mother, is destined for a zoo in England until, all of a sudden, turbulence rocks the plane and CJ's cage bursts open. Grabbing a nearby umbrella, CJ heads for the door and leaps out, landing in Paris. CJ realizes he is free and starts his long journey through Europe heading for his home and family in Africa. Ah, nice, isn't it? <laughs> okay, actually this this might be kind of cool. Actually, that, that we'll, we'll find out, eh? All right. Player 1. Um yes, there's one players. Okay, level 1, France. The music still is not uh okay. All right. Um I have no idea what the controls are, so this is kind of going to be a little trial and error. Well, here I was all excited to play 
this and none of the buttons seem to work. I guess that's what, uh, what I get for going in blind here. Oh, wait, did I... Am I doing something by... Okay. Do any of the... Okay, so... Wait. Okay, O and P are left and right. Um, what was the... I, I could chew peanuts somehow. Spacebar, okay. Um... Okay, so let's jump, I wonder. Z... Ooh, okay, so A throws bombs, Q is jump. Alright, so now we got a handle on the basic controls. Okay, so uh, this actually... Oh, hey, does have a little umbrella. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, so far this doesn't seem that bad. Um, a little control issue aside. Uh, controls a little stiff, but uh, not, not deal-breaking. Um, it is weird hitting Q for jump when uh, I'm used to space bar or something. And now I'm murdering pools, poodles with peanuts. That's wonderful. JJ is a... What is it? CJ, not JJ. CJ is a heartless baby elephant. There we go. Okay. And dead. Alright. Okay, so I had nine lives and I'm down to one. That i got a feeling that this baby elephant is not going to be seeing his parents. Yes, okay, and there is no little fanfare. It's just, you know, there you go. All right, well, let's try it again now that I actually know what to do. Maybe. Did it, did it just stop working? I think it just stopped working. Um, one moment. Got it working again. There we go. Okay. Now that we actually kind of know what to do... Is that a invincibility gem thing? No. So it's kind of... Uh, so far, this, this isn't a bad game. I can see this being really good when it came out. Um, hasn't aged terribly well. But uh, definitely not bad. It could be, it could be way worse. The controls are actually fairly responsive, if a bit stiff. Um, the music is probably the highlight of this game, which I honestly didn't think I would be saying. Um, these bombs seem to be handy as far as uh, hitting things below. Um, but yeah, when you get used to the controls, it's uh, not bad. Like not bad at all. Okay, so whoop, and I hit space to jump. Okay. Okay, and then just kill the snail. Okay, so that was one thing I was worried about. I was hoping that uh, by hitting the um, spikes from below it wouldn't kill me. That would uh, kind of piss me off in all honesty. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can at least beat the first level. There's two frogs there. Now there's zero, because they're dead. Because CJ's kind of a homicidal little elephant, to be completely honest. Okay, and dead. Alright, so... Hoo-hoo, mean! Alright. Now, I saw something here. I'm gonna see if I can use that to get up. Alright, that guy's a dick. Alright, um... See what's on the bottom first. Ah, okay. So I guess we have to deal with um a uh, shitty cloud man. Wonderful. Also, there's a two-player option to this. That's kind of neat. Okay. And I can't do anything about him. Oh, oh, here he comes. And now he's just going to stand there and be a shitty cloud man. God. Okay. Well, um. I don't think... Yeah, okay. I don't think I can do much about that. <laughs> I assume if I played for a bit longer, you know, I'd probably get the hang of it, but... Um, that is CJ's Elephant Antics. A little look at that. Um, not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Um, unforgiving difficulty aside, but apparently there's only five levels. Um, yeah, this... This is 
kind of neat. I, I said, this is kind of like a little hidden gem from what I'm gathering. Um, Alright, so, anyway, this has been the Mayor of Gaming. If you enjoy this series, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, I've yet to come up with a name for it. Um, if I do, by the time I put it up, uh, it'll probably be under some other crazy name. But, um, yeah, this is the Mayor of Gaming. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and uh, see you next time.